Today we're going to be going over how every single active item works in Deadlock. And of course, if you're new here or find yourself coming back on the regular, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We're pushing for the huge goal of 10,000 subscribers before the year ends. But anyway, let's dive straight in. Starting in the damage category, our first item is Fleet Foot, which will completely remove the movement speed penalty while shooting. On its passive, which is great for characters who like to chase a lot, things like Wraith, Moan Crow, and others. On its active ability, so when you need to press the button, it will give you bonus movement speed and temporary plus 30% ammo, which for whatever reason people don't know that it gives extra ammo. Coming up next on the list is Alchemical Fire. So it's an AoE ability that you throw out to a specific targeted area, and it ticks every second for spirit damage, but it also has a condition of plus 50% weapon damage to any target within that affected area. You can definitely combo this ability with a lot of different things. Typically you want to throw this item out before you do any sort of other type of damage, because of course you get that 50% weapon damage. It's definitely a super strong item that's heavily overlooked. So the next time you're at the shop and you don't know what to buy, why not give Alchemical fire a try. Damn, those were bars. The next item on the list is called Warp Stone. The stone will teleport you forward a short distance on a short cooldown of 15 seconds. It's a great movement tool in terms of items that can be paired super well with characters. Characters like Dynamo, Moan Krill, and others of the sort, or characters that have massive AoE abilities or ultimates benefit greatly from this. Next item on the list is, well, Silencer. Silencer is a definite must-buy on a lot of physical damage characters. Characters such as Haze really benefit from this item. What it basically does on activation, it silences anyone you hit and it prevents them from using any type of ability. It does not stop you from using other active items if you're hit by it. Next item on the list is Vampiric Burst. Vampiric Burst on activating gives you 100% bullet lifesteal, 40% fire rate, and increased ammo capacity. This capacity can overcharge your magazine giving you more than you originally allowed. Now again, this active ability is great for characters like Wraith, Warden, Haze, Abrams, and a lot of others that are usually in the fight and in the thick of it. Typically, characters that are outputting a lot of damage is who you buy it on. The next item on the list is Heroic Aura. It's actually a pretty cool active ability. This ability is typically bought on characters like Warden, McGinnis, usually a support type character. Its passive ability will give fire rate to nearby players and minions, and its active ability provides bonus movement speed and fire rate to you and your allies, which is actually a really good active ability when you pair it with a character like, say, Warden, who really just runs in, or similar characters. Now let's move on to the Vitality section, and have you liked the video yet? It greatly helps me out. But Healing Right. Healing Right is an extremely strong item, and it's definitely overlooked sometimes. I would say 8 out of 10 times, it's a definitely must buy, especially when you're in the beginning stages of the laning phase. It grants both health regen and sprint speed. They've also made it more intriguing to buy, as it's now a component of other items, that being, well, the rescue beam. Something to note if you use the active ability, which pretty much just heals you, is if you take damage from an enemy minion, it will not go away. However, if you take damage from an enemy player, then the healing right will stop. So keep that in mind. You can use the healing right to help you with jungle camps early on into the game, as you can use it and it'll keep on going even if you take damage from the jungle camp. Next up is Divine Barrier, which is actually an insane item and definitely overlooked. On active, it gives you a bullet shield a spirit shield and movement speed all for just a low low price of 1250 souls now the move speed of plus two is really tempting but it's the 300 bullet shield and 300 spirit shield that you're really after playing characters like paradox dynamo or other characters of the sword you can either cast it on yourself or on teammates it's also a great item for players who are playing their role as a support people like kelvin dynamo benefit from this a lot coming up next is the health nova now health nova is a really strong item characters again like kelvin ivy dynamo supporting type characters benefit greatly from this but what it does is on an activation it heals in an aoe a lot of people miss the fact that it'll heal an additional 20 percent per ally in your little aoe radius so again if you're wanting to play that really supportive role health nova is a definite must coming up next we have restorative locket it will build up stacks over time to a maximum of 15. every time an ability is used around you your character consumes all stacks to heal the target ally for 35 health Per stack and if all stacks are consumed it'll give you an extra stamina point return which is pretty cool again it's another item if you're trying to play that super supportive role next item on the list is return fire which i have been seeing a lot of players actually use this item lately typically you want to use or pick this item against enemies like haze or wraith or even vindicta characters that are going to be shooting a lot but on activation if an enemy player is shooting at you it will return fire to the enemy doing damage to the person shooting at you while you yourself are taking pretty much little to no damage next item on the 
Analysis Debuff Remover, and well, it's pretty straightforward. You get rid of any negative effects that are currently applied to you, and it gives you a bonus movement speed. It's definitely a must-pick item if you're against characters like Infernus, Pocket, Lady Guys, any characters that will really do any sort of bleed damage, tick damage, things like that. Coming up next, we have Majestic Leap. Majestic Leap is a great pick for characters like Abrams, Pocket, characters that have a lot of movement. But on activation, it launches you upward into the air. You don't get affected by negative effects of AoEs and stuns while you're up in the air. You can press the same button that you used to activate it and it will launch you down to the ground. Are you playing against a Fed Wraith, Haze, or even Vindicta? Then Metal Skin is a must buy for you. Metal Skin makes you completely immune to both bullet damage and punches. So it's a really good counter to Abrams, Haze, and other characters that shoot or even punch. Moving on, we got the Rescue Beam. Again, another great item for characters that are in more of the supporting role, say for instance, Kelvin. Basically what you do is on activation, target a teammate to heal them over time, but you can also press left click to, well, kidnap them. Kind of like a bebop hook, which is pretty funny. Next up is Colossus, and well, just as you suspect, you turn Colossus. First off, you get 20% melee damage as a passive, and on activation, it gives you both bullet resistance and spirit resistance equal to 40% of your health, but also slows movement speed and dash speed by 35. You have to keep in mind that although you're not going to really die when using the ability, you do move at the the speed of a turtle. Next up is Phantom Strike. Basically, you can go invis and pretty much go up to an enemy target and kiss them a little bit before you come out of invis. If you get right next to an enemy target, it applies 50% slow, does 150 damage, and it will disarm, which is sort of crazy. It's a very great item for characters like Bebop and even Moe and Krill. Next up is Shadow Weave. It has a super long text description for whatever reason, but basically makes you stealth for a certain period of time. One thing to note is that once you come out of Shadow Weave, you get plus 40% fire rate in the ambush, which is actually pretty cool. You can use it on characters like Lash or Abrams, which I've been doing some theory crafting with some builds. So make sure to subscribe so you can see those. For our last vitality item, it's unstoppable. Hazes love this item. Are you getting stunned, silenced, or rooted? Well, never fear. Unstoppable is here to save you. It'll make you immune to all of this CC that I stated before for a total of six seconds. Like I said, Hazes love this item. All you simply have to do, press the activation key, run in as a Haze and ulti. No one can stop you pretty much. So it's a really good item. Now let's move on to the spear active items. The first one is Infuser. Infuser is a must use early game lane stage item which both gives you spirit power and spirit lifesteal for over six seconds which is actually insane characters like wraith benefit from this item a lot the next item on the list is cold front cold front is a very strong ability especially for characters like yamato it's mainly for characters that are getting up close and personal it's passive is that it gives you spirit power that scales with your own spirit power when you use it up close on an enemy to get a 40 percent movement slow it also gives you a spirit resist at 10 percent so again it's a really good ability the next item on the list is slowing hex basically on activation to one single selected target all their movement based abilities well they can't use them anymore besides not allowing them to use movement abilities it also gives the enemy targeted 30 percent movement slow so it's a definite must if you're using characters to chase people things like wraith warden fit greatly from that following slowing hex we have decay decay will add a healing reduction to the target as well as dealing 3.1 percent damage per second of course scaling with spirit power it's basically a counter to characters that heal a lot so characters like wraith Abrams, Furnace. This is a very good item to use against them. Next item on the list is called Withering Whip. It's pretty overlooked, I would say, but on activation on a targeted enemy, it gives 30% fire rate slow, and it also gives minus 14% bullet resist, which is actually really insane. It's really hard to find minus bullet resist in this game, so hopefully they add more items. Typically, you want to use this item on characters that are shooting, of course, fast. Take, for example, like Haze, Vindicta, Talon, if they're doing the physical damage build, or in Furnace, or other things like that. The next item on the list is ethereal shift ethereal shift is a must item if you're being shut down a lot or you want to dodge a lot of abilities like telekinesis basically what you do is on activation you enter a state where you become untargetable and invincible you can cancel whenever and once you come out of it you get that instant reload and you also get spirit power increase it's a great item to have on characters like haze next item is knockdown knockdown also referred to a lot as the rock it's an item that is used to stun characters after a brief delay so it's a delayed stun Basically, what you do is on activation, the enemy character you selected. It's definitely a must pick item now, as it was recently buffed in the latest patch. Click top right to see the patch notes video. Next item on the list is called Silence Glyph, which damages and silences the targeted characters. Use it against characters like Lash or any other characters that heavily rely on abilities. Next up on the list is Curse. This is your one step up from the Silence Glyph. It's priced now at 6,200 souls after the recent change. Now, not only will this interrupt in silence, but it also disarms. It'll also prevent item usage to the selected target. 
it. So if you really want to ruin an enemy's day, hit them with the curse. Next up on the list is Echo Shard, which is actually a rather interesting item and is mainly used by players playing Bebop. But basically what it does is it resets your most recent used ability. Say for example, you're playing Bebop, you hook someone, then you can hook someone again, or you can double bomb an enemy. There's a lot of use case scenarios that comes with Echo Shard, so it's definitely a must if you want to mess around with it. Next up is an item I don't see used a lot, but ever wanted to have a Princess Jasmine and show her the world? Well, now you can with the Magic Carpet. It will give you 400 Bullet Shield, 400 Spirit Shield, it will also increase your ability duration by 10%, and it allows you to fly. It's actually a fun item if you generally just want to have fun in this game. A character that can definitely see using this item is actually Dynamo. Imagine you fly in and an ulti. I think that'd be amazing. But anyways, the last active item is actually Refresher. The Refresher item will instantly reset the cooldown of all your abilities. This is typically used on the character Yamato, as well as we all know, Yamato ulti makes her invincible for a short duration. So Yamato's about to die, you pop your ult once, pop the Refresher, the second you come out of your first ulti, well, pop your ulti again, and pretty much you're the unkillable god. But those are all the active items in the game so far. Give me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, and well, I'll catch you in the next one.